we had the ability to take a look at the reporting data and look at where she was in the combinations and sort of backtrack and coach to that and change how she skied in the combinations to be able to not lose that speed. Hi, my name's Diane Roth. I'm the Berkmont Academy Junior Program Director. And we just finished a wonderful season, uh, our first season with our U14 team using the ProTurn IO sensors on a daily basis for both training and racing. Last year, one of the benefits of the ProTurn system and the, using the sensors was the ability to, to use the GPS system to be able to mark sections of the course that we wanted to track and follow, specifically for our own training and coaching of each individual athlete. Unrealized benefit in slalom, and one of our athletes, a very uh, successful athlete, was consistently struggling in combinations and losing. We were able to mark the top of a flush and the exit of a flush, and we had the ability to take a look at the reporting data and look at where she was in the combinations and sort of backtrack and coach to that and change how she skied in the combinations to be able to not lose that speed. Normally you'd think that speed events and GS would be the best places to use the sensors with speed in, speed out, being able to mark distance traveled, all the abilities that you would think would come with GPS sensor system. The value, you know, is across the board from slalom all the way to the ability to train and track Super G successfully. Another valuable use for the sensors to our program was the ability to track athletes through a training day and recognize exactly how many runs the athlete took. We can see how many were actually finished and track that. We can also track the level of speed the athlete gains throughout the course of the training day. So if their first run is fastest, do they have a steep fall off as they get tired? We had one particular athlete that would be, you know, fairly fast and then would, as the courses got rougher, get uh, closer and closer to the front, if not lead, through eight to 10 runs on the day. So it really helps you learn a little bit about where your athletes are at and their ability to sustain a training day. One of the unintended positive consequences of using the sensors, the athletes knew they were being tracked. Once they were in the system of, and in the program and schedule of showing up, putting their sensors on, going out to train, they knew we were tracking each run. Coaches could actively coach to the individual athlete what uh, their specific needs were. And the athlete knew this. So there were two things that came out of this that were incredibly valuable. One, the finish rate in training went up. So with the athletes knowing they were being tracked, their focus on completing each run was much higher, which we didn't plan on. That just happened organically. And the second thing, is their focus and intensity, knowing that they were being tracked, brought a greater quality of training to every single day. Their ability to sort of lock on and know, and they pushed harder out of the start. They continued to push every training run, whether they were working on a specific skill or what their focus was for the day. The intensity was really high. 